Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I'm about to play some modern with Soul Sisters. I uh, This has become my best modern deck and I'm not too pleased about that. Because it is not a tier 1 or even tier 2 deck. Modern. I am 17-7 with the deck. And now I'm playing against Final Chance. <coughs> At some point Isamaru will leave the deck, but not, not yet. Okay, can I keep this? Hmm, apparently I am keeping it. And it's Tron. And, uh, uh, of my losses, I think Seven losses, three of them are to Tron. Four, even. But a good play against Tron is the Hound of Conda. But now, if I miss the land drop, I will be in trouble. They will cast an explore or something similar. I just cast another chromatic sphere, but it has the green. And he is developing as planned. And do I get a land? Yes, I do. So which land then? Martyr of Sand. Well, deploying the Martyr. Uh, or do I actually play Honor of the Pure? These decks play of, often play for Pyroclasms. So that's why I'm going with this line. They also play Flame Spout, which will get. It's a Maru. Oh, we are very close to Disaster, which is named Karn. Spectral Procession, Pride Mate, and Smackdown, but it is all for naught, because the Ursatron has been assembled. And I am in trouble, serious, serious trouble. I have never beaten Tron. And here is one of the reasons why, though this time I can actually path him. Land, path to exile, which of course will give him even more land. Oh, he didn't have it! Uh, so I play Martyr to play around Flame Spout, Fire Spout, which might have been way too defensive. I still have Lethal on the table though. Oh, destroy each non-land permanent.
That is going to suck. Well, get to attack. Can watch them go. And I'm falling behind here. His effects are just too powerful, he doesn't care about a couple of weenies. Go the burn willows. Corn liberated. Exile target permanent. Oh, Pyroclasm. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I exile a card from my hand. Soul's Attendant. Uh, Squadron Hawk. Yes, shield. Squawk, squawk, squawk. So he can exile a card from my hand and then next turn just to restart the game. I want to play this deck, but it's way too expensive for me. I've been longing lo looking at it for over a year. But it's poor placing in the uh, last modern Pro Tour convinced me that it is not a deck to play. Though I don't really understand how it plays so poorly. It plays super poorly. And he will now be able to restart the game. And he also has Oblivion Stone. So I am just dead. <laughs> In me area. Fun times. Attack final chance. I probably should have attacked the corn. But I feel I can never beat down Karn, and he only has six toughness. But of course, Karn's ability will now win the game for him. Oh. That's very powerful. Cast your Emrakul and be done with it. Why did I do that? I'm not sure. I had just given up. And I think I'll just do that. instead of wasting everybody's time. Um, okay, red green Tron. The ghost quarter things are out of this. And uh, I'm starting to regret it. Uh, the suppression fields are supposed to work. 
against this guy. The Hound of Conda is good. Plus two core Firewalkers. Really? Minus three path to exile, but they were good against the Worm Coils. Oh. So let's take out the expensive things instead. And the mortars. Uh, I should probably not take out the mortars, so let me know how you would have sideboarded. Maybe the suppression field doesn't do enough, but at least it makes his expedition maps very clunky. I'm not sure how to sideboard, especially when I not, don't have any ghost quarters anymore. But taking out past the exile seems very wrong. I do want to play first. It's amazing actually that I have never won. I wanted to, I should have taken out a Johnny. But here I have the Prime Mate with the ability to fly actually from Ayani himself who looks really weird in that picture so getting a fat pride mate down must be a good thing Getting there. Give me a land, thank you. So we are casting Souls Attendant. And Core Firewalker. Maybe I should have brought in the full set of Firewalkers. Six six. Now we're getting somewhere. You'll still be able to kill it with. Uh, no, he won't be able to kill it. I will be able to finish him if he casts the worm coil engine. Because I will give my pride mate flying for the first time. I have theorized about this since I put a caller of the pride in for testing. That this is something that. Oh, okay. That I should have. I should. Do. And his natural play here seems to be, a, or a Karn, of course. Yep, a Karn ends ends it all. Because Karn is just crazy. And next turn. Ooh. He has only three. I think I'll go for the suppression field to slow him down. It should work against Karn, but now of course he might cast... Uh, a worm coil engine. Yeah.
So I can give him flying and first double strike, that's not enough. God, what do I do? Can't kill it, he'll be getting 6 lives a turn, so I will hit him for 7. Not sure here which was the right play, but now I'll show you I've learned F7. F7. F7! Huh? Doesn't work. More lives for me. That is probably really bad. I didn't like the suppression field at least. Okay. Hope he doesn't have another, because I am not fighting with the worm coil engine. Oh. There is always something huge coming out of that deck. Something huge that finishes me. And he will just blow it. I assume. Yeah. And what do we do now? Well, I cast Soul Warden and lose. I'll sign this up as a 0 2 again. Tron is just too hard. It's a really, really bad matchup. Okay, 17 8, 68 win percentage. And I could just concede here pretty much. I can't see myself coming back. Let's play it out and see if there's a miracle, but he has four cards in his hand. Even the Eye of Ugin. And Karn. And Johnny goes away. And I think he has got this. There is no way to come back. Thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan, I was playing Soul Sisters against Red Green Tron.